accommodation came into use in the 1600s from the French accommodation, which has its roots in the Latin accommodationem, specifically in its nominative form accommodatio. This Latin word comes from the verb accommodare, meaning make fit and make fit for, combining ad meaning to with commodus meaning fitting. The initial meaning of accommodation was something that supplies a want or need. In the 1610s, accommodate encompassed the meaning of an appliance or anything providing aid. By the 1640s, accommodate included the act of accommodating. It also referred to the arrangement of a dispute, such as when community leaders facilitated meetings between feuding neighbors to find a peaceful resolution. In the 1811, accommodation took a new meaning referring to stages, horse-drawn carriages that made regular stops along their routes. These accommodation stages, distinctive for their frequent stops, provided a slower but more accessible mode of travel compared to the faster, limited stop express options. A stagecoach aptly named for its segmented journeys or stages, covering 10 to 15 miles, played a pivotal role. At each stage stop typically found at coaching inns, the horses would be changed and travelers could indulge in a leisurely meal, enjoying a refreshing drink or choose to stay overnight. Furthermore, in 1838, the phrase accommodation train was introduced, denoting a train that made stops at every station along its route in contrast to the more rapid express trains that skipped some stations. A thousand thanks to you for accompanying me on this journey into the world of accommodation. Until then, stay curious and enjoy the accommodations life offers. See you in the next chapter.